doing out here is showing love to our people. But our people just stubborn in the mind and think this hate. They think we coming against them, but we coming out here for you, brother. Bring it out. Give me uh give me first Timothy two and eleven. Give me uh John five and two. First John five and two. Read what you got. The book of first John, chapter five and verse two. Bring it out. By this we know that we love the children of God. So, so by this right here, we know that we love the children of God because you are the children of God. That's who you brothers are. You are the children of God. So we're not coming out here to fight y'all. We're coming out here to show you repentance, true repentance to your God. Because he is your God only. Everything that we've told you brothers is true. It's not a lie. Read. By this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. These brothers up here love God because we keep God's commandments. That's right. So we know right now that we love you. And this is love. I'm going to show you something what the Bible says. Because one of the brothers just told me that his wife is a preacher. Read what you got. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman... Learn in silence. The Bible said let the woman learn in silence. So how's she going to teach a congregation of people if she's supposed to be quiet in the church? Right. Read. With all subjection. Uh -huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. So the scripture said that the Bible, God said, he does not suffer a woman to teach. No assert authority over a man. So that right there lets you know that that's out of order. Now, read. But to be in silence. But to be in silence, meaning not to say nothing in the church. Now, what we doing out here is showing you exactly what the Bible says. These brothers ain't coming out here to lie. That ain't what we come out here to do. Give me Psalms chapter 82. Psalms 82 and 6. Bring it out. Bring it out. We come out here for you, brothers, because we love you, brothers. We love you. So we're going to tell you the truth. I bet, I bet your wife never read you this. Because she want to be, she wanna be over you, brother. But we're going to tell you what God called you. Bring it out. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. The Bible said you are God, black man. That's right. You, 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 you are because you destroyed in your mind. That's right. But the most high God look at you like a God. She ain't read you that because she don't want you to know it. Read what you got. Joel chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Sanctify ye a fast. Uh -huh. Call a solemn assembly. Now give, me, give me verse 11, my bad. Verse 11. Joel chapter 1 verse 11. Uh -huh. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen. Uh -huh. How? So, so the scripture said, be ye ashamed, men. You husbandmen. Read. How? O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. Because see, the wheat, the barley, the, everything of the field is gone bad. Because we are not in order as men reap. The vine is dried up. The vines of the trees, the vines of all our goods, our crops have been dried up. And we know as a people that these people done destroyed the earth. Read. And the fig tree languishes. Uh -huh. The pomegranate tree, uh -huh. the palm tree also, uh -huh. and the apple tree. Right. Even all the trees of the field. So you know that we eat everything defiled. That's why they say, okay, we got to go get organic now. Because they done destroyed everything. And it's because that us, ourselves as men, has not risen up to our rightful place. Read. Are withered because joy is withered away. Because what? Joy is withered away uh -huh. from the sun. From who? The sun. Ain't you a son? You a son. Read. Of men. The sons of men. What men? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because you the sons of those men. Give me a Romans 8 and 19. Because you the sons of those men. So what we come out here to do? To show you who you are according to the Bible. To show you that you're the most important thing on the face of this earth. Right. That's what we come out here to do. Read what you get. The book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 19. Whoa. For the earnest expectation of the creature.
future waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So the whole world is waiting on you, black man, That's to right. wake up. That's what the Bible just said, black man, sitting in the car. The Bible just said that the whole earth waiting on you to wake up. Read that again. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifest manifestation, uh, manifestation of the sons of God. The whole earth is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God, which are you sitting in that car. That's right. You are the sons of God. Read what you got. This is what God said about you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For there are an holy people. You are a holy people to God. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. Hey, bro, don't you know the Most High God chose you to be a special people? A special people. Don't you know that means separate from everybody else? And you wonder why we jump high, run faster, sing better, run down the football field, stronger than any other nation that's on the football field. That's right. Because the Most High God made us that way. That's what we come out here to do, no matter what that brother tell you in your ear. Right. We come out here to show you who you really are, bro. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above. No, the same, man. Above. No, beneath. Above. No, we fighting for equal rights. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What are, what are we reading? We reading the Bible. Right. That's right. That's what God said about one group of people. But no, you've never been taught that. You ain't never been taught that. You sure enough ain't going to be taught that by your female Christian pastor. Right. right. It ain't going to happen. Because the Bible was meant for men to rise up and lead his people. Right, That's right, not right. Women. That's what it is. But the scripture just said, ye are gods. He's not talking about everybody. He's talking about the children of Israel. That's right. Because we are going to be the ones still ruling the earth. Right. Thus said the Lord God. This is how we know that, we, that you are a child of God. That you are from the tribe of Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Gad, Neftali, Zebulun, Asher, Issachar. Right. We are these people. Yeah. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Bible said that we should be brought into Egypt again. Now this, what he reading right here is what happened when they came out of the land of Egypt. You know when uh, God told Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go he was talking about the children of Israel because there was a lot of people in the land of Egypt he was talking about the children of Israel read and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again into Egypt again let's see what it's talking about when it said Egypt read the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2 I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous for the house of bondage. Right. So what he was telling them at the time is, look, I'm going to take you back into bondage again. How? <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Or bondage again. With ships. With ships. Who? What nation of people did that happen to? What nation of people went into slavery on slave ships? We get out. It's only one group of people. That's right. The Israelites That's right. went into slavery on slave ships. So the history that you have in your mind is that we did. And that's the truth. Because we are the Israelites. That's right. We are the people that the Bible is speaking about. That's right. We are the gods of this world. Right. But we're not living like that. We're not living like that because we have strayed away from the Most High God. Let me Deuteronomy uh, chapter uh, 30 and 15. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So the Bible said we should, we should not see our homeland no more again. Read. And thou ye shall be sold unto your enemies.
enemies. The Bible said we will be sold unto our enemies, not our friends. Because would a friend, would a friend say, would a friend sell you into slavery? Would a sin take your kids from a mother's breast and bash their heads into the stones? A friend wouldn't do that. A nation of people who your friends wouldn't do that. Right. For bond men, for bond men, slave men, and bond women, and slave women. That only happened to one nation of people. Read. And no man shall buy you. That buy word is an old Quaker English word for redeem. No man has been able to redeem us. Malcolm X couldn't do it. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it. Uh, Martin Luther King didn't do it. Why? Because these curses are going to chase us forever. You got a question, bro? Yeah. What is the difference between a comedic and Israelites? Comedic? Give me a... Uh, the difference between comedic, now, now you got our people who think they are committed, but Kim is, is another word for ham, it's just pronounced different. The hamedic people are the so called Africans today. Bring it out. That's who they are. So when they say they, they're the comedic community, they saying we are the community of the, of the African descent. We come from them, but they don't. They just think that that's because we've been taught those things. But the Most High God put a difference between us. That's Read right. what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. But against any of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall not a dog move his tongue. See, he, he ain't talking about an actual animal. He's talking about people. Not against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. He calling the other nations of people dogs. That's right. right. Against man or beast, uh -huh. that ye may know how the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians, between the Hamitic people, read, and Israel. And Israel. It's a difference between us. Read what you got. This is the Compact Bible Dictionary. The definition of Ham. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, uh -huh. and one of eight persons to live through the flood. You, you know about this history right here? All right, so you got Ham, Shem, and Jephthah, right? So Ham, the youngest son, read. He became, he became the progenitor of the dark races. So he became the father of the dark races. We a dark race, ain't we? Read. Not the Negro. Hold on. Read it again. Not the Negro. He said, not us. See, scholars, the people who, who studied this book long ago had these records, and they put this in here. Why? Because they knew we weren't reading. They knew we weren't reading and searched out this type of stuff. But we can read now. And we reading a lot. Read it out. So we know the information is here that we are not Africans. So the comedic community. Is that, the, is that it on that? Read, read. But the father of the Egyptians. The Egyptians. Remember, they was in the land of Egypt. Read. Ethiopians. The Ethiopians. Libyans. The Libyans. And Canaanites. Uh -huh. Are all Hamitic people. Kemetic. So, this, so our people who lost in those doctrines, they are lost in those doctrines. That's what they lost it in those doctrines. They need to come back to the Most High God and read this Bible like they're supposed to be. Because what they got it. Because the Most High God of the Bible went to Egypt and sent plagues of all of their so-called gods. And then destroyed them in the flood. So what, what, what good was their God doing then? Wasn't doing no good because we got the only God. Joel 227. Read what you got right there. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 29, and verse 12. And I will make the land of Egypt. This is what God said he was going to do to Egypt, to Kim, to the comedic, to the Egyptologists. He said he was going to do what to Kim? Make the land of Egypt desolate. He said he was going to make it desolate. Meaning ain't nothing going to be there. Read. In the midst of the countries uh -huh. that are desolate, uh -huh. and her cities among the cities that are laid waste. Right, so Egypt gonna be laid waste. 
All right, give me Matthew chapter 22 and 32. Because what book do the Egyptologists, what book do they read out of? They tell you to read what? The book of the dead. They try to say that the Bible plagiarizes the walls of Egypt. Now, I ain't, what you got? You got that? The book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 32. I am the, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac. And the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead. He said what? Hey, pay attention, bro. They were asking about Egypt. They were asking about Kim. Big bro. Pay attention. Then what God said. Come here for a second. Let me show you something. I'm going to tell you them comedic dudes, bro. They, they don't know who they are. They lost. They the Israelites. This ain't nothing about, about choice. This ain't nothing you choose to be. This is something you already are. All right? What book they read? The book of the what? Book of the dead, right? All right, watch this. The Dead Sea Scroll. Watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 23, I mean, 22 and verse 32. I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead. He's not the God of the dead. The Dead Sea Scrolls, the book of the dead, he ain't their God. Read. But of the living. He's a God of the living. So why I need to read the book of the dead? They say that the walls of Egypt... I mean, the Bible plagiarizes, plagiarizes the wall of Egypt, right? That's what they say. But where in the, give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Let me show you that's a lie. I want you to show me where in, on the walls of Egypt, they said that you was going to go somewhere on a cargo slave ship. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way where have I spake unto thee? See, that ain't on the Egypt, that ain't on the walls of Egypt. You know what I'm saying? It, read that from the top again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. See, they don't tell that ain't in, how the Bible plagiarized that. How the Bible plagiarized the walls of Egypt. And it I ain't never heard one of them say that the white man, you know the white man translated the hieroglyphics on the wall, don't it? The white man told them what to say. The white man told them what it means when they see a man down on his knees with a penis in his face. That that means something else. There's a lot of gay stuff going on with this stuff, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You are not comedic, okay? You are shemetic. Right. You come from Shem. You didn't come from Ham. Right. They both dark-skinned people, but one lineage God chose to bring on his people. All right? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. That ain't on the walls in Kemet. Read. With ships. Now we was going to go somewhere on cargo slave ships. That ain't on the walls of Egypt. That ain't been, uh, what you call it, translated? Or, that ain't been tra translated yet. It's time for us to wake up know that we the Israelites by force, not choice. This ain't something you choose to be. This is something you already is. But you got to wake up to it and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. All right? Check, hey, come on back, bro. I can't Give me uh, Leviticus 20 and 26. Listen to this, bro. Bring it out. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 26. And ye shall be holy unto me. So the most high God talked to the children of Israel. Read. Mm -hmm. For I, the Lord, am holy uh -huh. and have severed you. So he severed us. When you sever something, when you think of the word sever, you think of a clean cut. Right? So he severed us, read, from other people. From other people. That ye should be mine. That we should be his. So he separated us from all other people. Read verse 23. Verse 23. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation. We should not be even moving like them. We should move like they move. They want to, they want to, what a, uh, we shouldn't be doing that because that honor their gods, which are yet no gods. Right. It's not living. Read. Which I cast out before you. Because the Most High God cast them out before us. We seen this thing happen. Read. For they committed all these things, and therefore I abhor them. The Most High God abhorred them. You hear that? What abho abhor mean? Do you know what that word means? It means hate. Right. The Most High God hates them, Isaiah 40. The Most High God hates them. 
I'm sure you never heard that before. That the Most High God hates somebody. Because what we've been taught, that God loves everybody. No. But the Bible don't say that. Right. Like we were trying to tell a brother who was mad at us. God don't love everybody, brother. Just because your wife said it and you said she a preacher, it means nothing. 40 and, uh, what's that, 17? 15. 40 and 17. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. God said all nations before him are as nothing. Read. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Less than nothing. Whatever nothing is, they less than that. Read. And vanity. And vanity. To whom then will, will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? None. We can't compare none to the Most High God. Joel 2.27. None to him. All these nations ain't like us. We read in Deuteronomy 76, he set us above all other people. That's a difference right there. We read in Leviticus, he severed us from them. Why? Because he, he got a chosen group of people. Isaiah 41 and 8. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. This is not a land at the time. This is a people. That's right. Because the children of Israel are people. Right. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. Uh -huh. And none else. No, he everybody God. I am the Lord your God and none else. What about the Chinese man? I am the Lord your God and none else. Let's, let's go into all other nations of people. Right. right. He's not their God. Right. The Bible just said that we're not reading the Quran. We're not reading the uh, uh, Dead Sea Scroll. We're reading the Holy Bible. The no. same Bible that the preachers use yeah, tomorrow. You want to he going to pull this Bible out and read out of it. It ain't going to go into the truth. Right. He ain't going to go into the truth according to this Bible. Because what's, what's the truth? That's still enough. You are a chosen generation of people. Right. That's still enough. The Most High God loves you and you only, okay, bro. Sure. Your nation of people. Read. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 41 and verse 8. Okay, but, but Israel, I mean, for, but thou Israel art my servant, and Jacob whom thou hast chosen. Jacob whom thou hast chosen. Who is Jacob? This is Jacob right here. Jacob is the forefather of these people right here. These 12 tribes. That's who Jacob is, because Jacob is not living at this time. Who's living? His seed. That's what the scripture's talking about. Revelations. Revelation 21 12. That's the seed of people who the most high God love. So now we're gonna go into the book, to the to the, what they call the New Testament. About to go in here to the last book of the Bible. Because what people like to say is, y'all go to the Old Testament. The whole Bible is about the children of Israel. That's right. And if it's not, then why? Right here in the Revelation, you can't get no more New Testament than this. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 12. Mm. And had a wall great and high. So it's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Matter of fact, read verse 1. The book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. And there was no more sea. All right, go back. So what, what, this, what this chapter is talking about is the new heaven. Read. Verse 12. And had a wall. And it had a wall great and high. So the, new, so the new heaven had a wall great and high. Read. And had 12 gates. 12 gates. What we taught in church. How many gates it is that you're taught in church? I'm shaking too much. <laughs> One pearly gate. I'm holding my neck, you know I'm yeah. tall. We're going to all go through that pearly gate. No, according to the Bible, it's 12 gates. Read. And at the gate, 12 angels. Uh -huh. And names written thereon. So at each gate, you got an angel. A man can't do nothing with one of God's angels. That's right. So he there for a reason. And names written their own. Read. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of is of the children of Israel. Those are the names on the gates. Who getting into the kingdom of heaven? 
Thus said the Bible. The Most High God said he's your God only. Because we the rulers of this world. Right. We are the rulers of Corinthians 6 and 2. We are the rulers of this world. We're going to be the ones setting up order under Christ. That's, right. That's what's going to happen to your seed. If you don't get it right, somebody you know going to get it right. And what I mean by get it right? Repent. That's right. This is not a religion. The Bible is not religious. What you got? Okay. You got that? 62. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 2. Do you do, do ye not? I mean, do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? The scripture said, Do you I not know that the saints shall judge the world? The scripture said, Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Not judge a group of people, judge the world. Read. Know that the saints shall judge the world, and if the world shall be judged by you, are ye worth, unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So the world should be judged by us. That's what's going to happen. That's what Revelation is talking about. We're the judges of this world. That's what's going to happen. So it said, are we not worthy to judge the smallest matters like we was going through with the brothers? We trying to tell that brother over there, look, your wife ain't supposed to be preaching according to the Bible. Why? Because we've come to the understanding of the scriptures. So what we doing? Showing love to our brother to show him, look, tell your wife to come down off that poor pit. Right. Tell her to do that if you love God. That's right. If you love God, do what God said. Why? Because you are God. That's the scripture right. said ye are gods. The scripture said man is above the woman. That's not putting the woman down low. That's putting the woman in a rightful spot. Right. Right. Because we are the rulers. Who built everything? Who built that stove? Men. Who put the lights up? Men. Who paved the concrete? Men. It, it, it's, it's common sense. But what we taught, everybody come out of woman, we ain't come from women. The woman came from us. That's right. The woman came from us. God made man of the dust of the ground and created her out of his reed. So from the beginning, woman came from us. So what are we doing? Luke, give me your uh, repentance. Acts 3 and 18. Acts 3 and 19. What you looking for? So what we must do, we must come back to the Most High God. Come back to His laws. Psalm 119, verse 142. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So the scripture said repent and be converted. That's what we got to do as Israelites. It says repent. If you're going to read anything, that means what? What re mean? Redo something. See how people don't look into these words. It's do it again because once we was keeping the laws of God. That's right. So in the New Testament, Christ came. He said repent. He said, look, go back to, to y'all old ways and keep the laws of God so you can raise up the kingdom again. Because the Old Testament is about Israel. They had the kingdom. And every time they went away from God, the kingdom was destroyed. They lost the kingdom. He, he put the curses on them. They went through slavery. The same thing we went through. The children of Israel. We went through slavery. We came over here by way of slave ship. Repent. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Repent ye therefore and be converted. You got that? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting uh -huh. the soul. So, the scripture said, repent ye therefore and be converted. This is what conversion read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. These scriptures make you wise. The laws of God make you wise. That's right. The scripture said, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. That's what Christ talking about. He said, repent and, and uh, repent and be converted. Converted back to what? Re converted back to God's laws. Right. What we come out here to do, to teach the truth, 119. We come out here to show you the truth according to the Bible. 
We come out here to do away with these lies. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy righteousness, whose righteousness? God's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. And his laws are the truth, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, That's what the truth is. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Back in Psalms 19 and 7, it said making wise the simple. So if you got a simple mind, these scriptures, God's law is going to bring you into wisdom. Right. It's going to make you wise. You ain't going to be able to help it. Why? Because you're keeping God's laws. Now, now you now you moving as a god on the earth. That's right. That's real godship right there. Not with them comedic brothers talking about. Because they God have no power. It's been shown in each of them. That's right. right. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Give me Psalm 119 verse 20. 119 and 120. The fear of the Lord is beginning to wisdom. You should have fear of the Most High God. That's right. Fear is very important. Because you don't fear him. If you, if you got a father in the house, and he told you to do, some, do something, he left the house. If you don't fear him, you ain't looking to get that done. You ain't scared of the judgment coming from your dad. Why? Because you ain't scared of him. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 120. My flesh trembleth. For fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. David, you know who David was, right? He said, my flesh trembled at the fear. Matthew 20. Read that again. My flesh trembled for, the, for fear of thee, mm -hmm. and I am afraid of thy judgments. Hey, he afraid of the Most High God's judgments. Right. Because the Most High God will kill you. Why? Because he do all these things. The Most High God do all these things. Give me that. Uh, Psalms 45. I got you. Yeah, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 60. Uh -huh. I make haste and delay not. So us as, as men, as coming into the knowledge that you're an Israelite brother, you got to make haste. Don't, don't go back to where, you, where your house is, man, with the same mind frame. Because now you know what's up, and everybody around you don't. So what you got to do, you got to make haste. Read. And delay not. Don't delay. Don't hold off from the things you being taught. You got a flyer? Hey, the brother said he ain't got no flyer, man. We need this brother with a flyer. That, yeah, that, that's a good one. Yeah, that, that's a card right there. But you need, Yeah, re research everything you heard. Read. Delay not to keep thy commandments. Delay not to keep the Most High God's commandments. Because see, the, the Sabbath just passed. The Sabbath was, was when the sun was in the sky today. Now you weren't taught to keep the Sabbath day holy. You weren't taught to do the things that God said do. The Most High God said keep a beard on your face. The Most High God said wear fringes. That's why you see fringes on everybody's garments out here. Because the Bible said do it. So don't delay. Now research it. Research and see if it's a lie. If you can prove it to be a lie, then hey, you you bad. You bad, and that means that mean you you greater than the most high God. Because what he said is not a lie. That's right. So don't delay. Don't waste your time to keep God's law. Because time is short. That's right. <laughs>
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.